Number 10 is bucket company, okay? I'm not sure if anyone has heard this terminology. The bucket company is, uh, you also call the money parking company, all right? So that's for investors or business owner has, uh, has earned a lot of income from the rental or from the business. And they will actually start uh, paying some there to the individual and also the money parking money uh, uh, company, which is called a bucket company. The reason we're doing this one, because uh, probably everyone knows the individual tax rate, the top marginal tax rate is 47%, including the Medicare levy. But the company tax rate is 30%. All the 27.5% depends on your uh, turnover threshold. And the government introduced to reduce the company tax rate in 2021, to 26 percent and 22 to 25 percent so bucket company can be very effective if you if you use that wisely so i'm just give you an example and how you can use the bucket company to reduce your tax let's say alex's construction business uh, is owned under the discretionary trust structure and uh, the profit is about 250,000. And so we have to distribute those to the beneficiary because with a discretionary trust, you have to distribute the profit to the beneficiary. If the company, you can retain it. Obviously there's a pro and a cons with the trust and the company structure. That's just for argument's sake, which is uh, he just used a discretionary trust structure. So he has to distribute 250,000 in, uh, into the beneficiary's hands. So what we can do is the distribute 87,000 to each of Alex and his wife. Okay, with the discretionary trust, normally people call family trust. You can distribute to the family member as long as the trustee allows. And the remaining balance of the 76,000, let's pay it to a bucket company. Why is 87,000? Because uh, up to 87,000, individual pays 34.5% tax, including Medicaid levy. And above 87,000, people will start paying 39%. How about the bucket company? The bucket company probably only pay 27.5%. That's the difference of the tax saving percentage will result about $8,740 tax saving by using the bucket company. If you have a more profit to distribute, there's more tax saving. Some people were questioning, um, why don't you just distribute the $18,200 because that's an individual tax free threshold. So you don't have to pay tax in. You know, at all, right? And I have a better tax saving. The reason is the, the government knows that. <laughs> and uh, so that's why they put a rule around it. So when, when you actually pay the money into the bucket company to have a lower tax rate, you can't actually take that money out for your personal use unless you distribute it to yourself as a trust distribution or pay yourself as a salary or pay yourself as a dividend. Of course, Alex probably and his wife will still want the go vacation uh, every year or have a good lifestyle. So they probably still want to have a reasonable amount of money in their pocket to spend. So normally um, it's up to 87,000 is really good because uh, in the family income will be equal to how much? 174,000 as an income. So there's still really good size of the income in their pocket for their lifestyle. And the rest of the money, they can put it in the bucket company for later use. And maybe pay as a dividend and accept uh, and receive the franking credit on the track when they retire or when they actually had a bad year and then they can start and maybe get some money back from the franking credit from the bucket company that's another story i can share with you in other session